Well, this is Shane, aka Bearded Mountain Man, and um, I made a quick video about just showing my archery form, but I didn't go through like everything that it entails. So I thought I'd take a minute and make a video just describing all the things that I'm doing while I shoot. Um, my stance, my grip, my sight picture, my draw, my anchor point, my release, and everything in between. So um, today I am shooting, this is a bow that I um, traded for. Uh, this was made by Warpath, Warpath Archery. Um, and uh, G made this bow for me. Uh, it is Osage on the belly. It's hickory backed. It has a malted mahogany riser with malted mahogany um, tips on it. And then it is, it is uh, backed with a um, timber rattlesnake skin. Um, gives it some really nice character. Again, I have coyote fur silencers. And this bow pulls 48 pounds at 28 inches. And 28 inches is my draw length. So I get about 48 pounds out of it. Um, it doesn't shoot super fast, but it shoots them straight. And I love shooting it. So uh, let's get on with the shooting. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, my stance. And that is basically I keep my feet shoulder length apart and I keep them pointed in the direction that my chest is facing. If that makes sense. Um, some people will actually take their left toe and point it toward the target. Um, I find that to be a little uncomfortable and I just don't like it. So Shoulder length apart. Um, another important thing to think about is your grip on the bow. This is called my bow arm, it's the arm that holds the bow, my drawing arm, the other arm. So with my bow arm, my grip, I don't, I don't grip it really tightly. Like I'm not afraid of the bow falling out of my hands when I'm shooting. Um, so basically the tension that I put on the string is, gonna, is going to pull the bow into my palm. And so as I come up to draw, I'm putting tension on the string. I don't even have to grip my bow. It just sits right in the palm of my hand. And as I come up, I'll just very gently close my fingers around the riser of my bow, or the handle of my bow. So as I come up, um, I've already gotten my sight picture, which is the target. So my stance, got a good grip, light grip on the bow. I find my sight picture, which is going to be the very center of my target. And I find a spot within the center. Just try to find that smallest spot. And the sight picture is basically you focus on that spot until all you see is that spot. Everything else just kind of becomes blurred. So you focus. I come up to draw. As I draw, I take a breath in. As I come to my anchor point, I let about half of it out, and that will center me. My anchor point, I bring my middle finger right to the corner of my lip every time. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to draw corner of my lip. When I release, there's just a natural tendency for my, my hand to just come right back because I'm putting tension in my shoulders and my arm and my hand so it, it all just comes right back like that. And you don't want, you don't want to pluck, you don't want to pluck your string. You're not playing a guitar. You, know, you want this string to just slide right out of your fingers as smoothly as possible. So stance, grip, sight picture, draw, breathe, anchor, release. Not too bad. Let's take a look.
That was again about 15 yards. And we got fairly close within the center circle, which is pretty great for me. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. So we have my stance, comfortable shoulder, shoulder length apart. My grip, very light. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about fingering on your string. There are two, probably more, ways that people do this, but the most um, prolific are these two. It's called split finger, which is what I shoot. You take your three fingers, put two underneath the arrow, one on top. And you basically split your fingers and pinch the arrow. Um, you don't want to tightly, you don't want to push tight, like everything you want to do is loose here. And then I take, I let the string rest right on the, the pads of my fingertips. Uh, as little amount as I can. Um, the other way to shoot is called three fingers under or the Apache style. Um, and the advantage to this is that when you come to draw, the arrow um, gets a lot closer to your eye and you can sight down your arrow a little easier. Um, I shoot instinctively so I don't really sight down my arrow. Um, some people will um, climb their string if they know a certain distance, if they're farther away from their target, they'll move their arrow farther down their string. I don't do that. <laughs> uh, I'll just uh, see my target and just out of instinct kind of know how to hold myself so my arrow goes where I want it to go. I'm still learning. It doesn't always go where I want it to go. So uh, stance, grip. Breathe in as you draw, let out about half, come to your anchor point uh, for a sight picture before all that. And then when you release, just let it come smooth, very smoothly. Take a little bit of time on that one. Okay. Now, didn't quite get where I wanted to get, but I got a good group. And grouping is important. This was the first arrow that I shot. It uh, didn't quite go where I wanted it to go at all. <laughs> but um, this group of four here um, did pretty well. And, um,. So you know I'm doing something consistently when you get all of your arrows very close together. So what I need to do is now compensate and get all these arrows in this two inch area. These are well within two inches of each other. And if I could very simply adjust my stance, I can get my arrows to come right over here. Go ahead See if and show we can it do it. One more time. I want to explain it all this time since I already did that. <laughs>
Okay. Quite a few of them in the yellow. And a couple in the red. Not too bad. This has been Shane, aka Bearded Mountain Man. Um, I hope you all learned something. Uh, feel free to leave any critiques or comments uh, uh, below. And um, I'm always uh, wanting to learn more myself. So I'd love to hear about uh, you other archers, how you do things differently. Um, yeah, this is me signing off. Take care.